Hey there guys, what I'm planning on doing today is fitting this 30 inch uh, longer chainsaw bar to my still MS391. Now the MS391 has the 20 inch bar stand and it's got 3.3 kilowatts of uh, power. I had this saw, it was perfect for my last property. Most of the trees were less than that 20 inches or 50 centimeters if you like. Whereas here the trees uh, where I've moved to are quite a bit larger. There's some really large peppermint trees um, and I've been chopping a lot of firewood recently being winter and uh, it's uh, you can chop through from one side and the other side so I can still get through with this saw. Um, but I thought let's have a go at uh, getting a longer bar. This bar and chain cost about $115 delivered um, off eBay. So I've got it all fitted up, seems to fit pretty well. Um, there was a bit of paint on the bar and uh, that was making it quite difficult to get it spinning straight away. So um, there's a fair bit of heat actually in the bar just from running it for a minute or so. Um, but I think that's more or less burnt off now, as you can see in here. And the oil's starting to pump. I spurt, put a little bit of this, is just a bit of engine oil, but I'll put a bit of that. Um, in at the start just so it had something a bit of lubrication right from right from the beginning um, but all in all first impressions um, yeah it <laughs> feels a bit awkward actually it's uh, pretty you know pretty long um, not so balanced anymore but um, yeah that's not so important because once we sit it on the log um, we won't have to worry about that I must admit I'm a little bit nervous that the saw is underpowered for this length um, whether or not I'm going to need to get a uh, change the gearing in the sprocket or something along those lines. Um, I think inevitably might end up buying a larger saw, but um, hey, as a bit of an experiment, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Alright, so I'm back out where I was cutting wood the other day, um, where my 20 inch bar was not quite long enough and there's a lot of other trees uh, around in this sort of diameter, so the 30 inches is well and truly going to be long enough to get through this log. What I was doing was, uh, you know, cutting in from this half and getting probably three quarters of the way through it and then coming in from the other side and cutting the last bit out, so it was working pretty effectively, um, but you know, a bit time consuming. There's plenty of other trees around. There was this it was woodland here was uh, burnt, I suppose, almost 10 years ago in a bushfire. So there's a lot of really nice uh, firewood timber just lying around. So there's plenty of other stuff that's uh, that's that sort of that sort of diameter. So anyway, I'm really excited to give this this bar a crack and see how it goes. See if it bogs down or if it cuts really well.
There you go, just made my first few cuts and I'm probably already pretty happy with that, probably already call that a success. Much easier when I did the plunge cut at this end, I felt like that was uh, much easier to control and I could get right through through the whole log in one, one go. Um, as opposed to coming around the other side and making you two cuts, one from each side, that was much easier. I think um, it'd be fantastic saw for uh, with that with that bar on for ripping, just give you a lot more material, a lot more of a guide. You can you can't really lean on it; doesn't have ample power to, to spare. But I don't think I'm going to need to worry about down gearing it. I think with that sprocket, that's going to be just fine. Um, it probably can cut slightly larger timber than this, but not not a whole lot without uh, d doubling it up. But um, yeah, no, I'm really happy. That's that's uh, going really well. There you have it, got my load of firewood cut now, really happy with that, definitely a bit easier cutting through those bigger logs, and um, yeah, call that one a success, just uh, going to whack it in the vise and give it a quick sharpen and done for the afternoon. Thanks for watching.